Imagine a world where silence holds more power than words. In moments of chaos, your quiet presence speaks volumes, commanding more respect than any argument. In our fast-paced, noisy world, true power lies not in what you say, but in knowing when to stay silent. Buddhism teaches us that there are times when silence is not just golden, but deeply transformative. It helps us recognize the strength of silence and guides us to use it wisely, especially in six key situations. 1. When you're angry. Anger is a strong emotion that can quickly take control before we even notice. In such moments, it's easy to say things we don't mean, words that can hurt others and damage relationships. The Buddha taught that holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intention of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. This reminds us that anger harms us just as much as it harms others. This is why Buddhism teaches that during times of anger, silence is one of the most compassionate responses. By choosing to remain silent, you give yourself the time to pause, reflect, and calm down before saying something you might regret. This allows you to think clearly, respond with kindness, and avoid unnecessary conflict. In this way, your silence becomes a gift not only to yourself, but to those around you. By holding back in moments of anger, you create a path toward peace and understanding, rather than adding fuel to the fire. 2. When someone is venting. When someone is upset and venting, they usually don't want advice or solutions. They just need someone to listen. In these moments, jumping in with your own opinions or trying to fix their problem can make them feel unheard or even more frustrated. This is where silence becomes powerful. By simply staying quiet and allowing the other person to express their feelings, you show them that you respect and value what they are going through. Listening without interrupting helps them feel supported and understood which can be far more healing than any advice you might offer. Buddhism teaches the importance of being present and offering compassion in such situations. Sometimes, all someone needs is to feel like they've been truly heard, and your silence is a way of showing that you are there for them without judgment or distraction. In this way, your silence becomes an act of kindness, allowing the other person to release their emotions and come to their own conclusions without pressure. 3. When someone is trying to manipulate you. Manipulation occurs when someone tries to influence or control your decisions for their benefit. This can often be done subtly through persuasive words or emotional pressure. In these moments, it's easy to get caught up in the conversation and feel the need to respond or defend yourself immediately. But instead of reacting quickly, Silence can be your best defense. By staying quiet, you give yourself time to recognize what's really happening. You allow yourself to observe the other person's intentions without getting emotionally entangled. Buddhism teaches that silence creates space for wisdom and clarity. When someone is trying to manipulate you, silence helps you stay grounded and focused on what's right for you instead of being swayed by their words. It's a way of protecting your peace and ensuring your decisions come from a place of mindfulness rather than from pressure. In this way, silence allows you to maintain control over your actions and choices while also sending a message that you won't be easily influenced by others' agendas. When you don't know the facts, in today's world, it's easy to feel pressured to have an opinion on everything. From current events to personal matters, we might find ourselves in conversations where others are discussing topics we know little about, and the urge to speak up can be strong. Sometimes we feel that staying silent might make us look uninformed or disconnected. Speaking without fully understanding the facts can cause more harm than good. Buddhism teaches the value of humility and mindfulness in such situations. Knowing when to speak and when to remain silent is a sign of true wisdom. When you don't know the facts, silence becomes an opportunity for learning. Instead of jumping into the conversation with half-formed opinions or guesses, staying quiet 
allows you to listen carefully. This not only helps you gather the necessary information to better understand the topic, but also shows respect for the knowledge others are sharing. By listening carefully, you can absorb different perspectives, reflect on them, and form an informed opinion later on when you're truly ready to contribute. Remaining silent when you lack knowledge also prevents the spread of misinformation. In a world where facts can easily be distorted, it's important to be mindful of the impact our words have. Spreading incorrect or incomplete information can confuse others and damage your credibility. On the other hand, staying silent and admitting that you don't know everything shows humility and a commitment to truth, qualities that are highly respected in Buddhist teaching. It's okay not to have all the answers. In fact, acknowledging that you don't know something and choosing silence in those moments is a powerful way to demonstrate your openness to learning, growing. Silence in these situations can also prevent unnecessary arguments. Often, conversations can become heated when people speak without having all the facts, leading to misunderstandings and conflict. By remaining silent, you create space for clarity and avoid contributing to potential disputes. You allow the conversation to flow without adding noise or confusion. Silence in this case becomes a way to protect harmony in relationships and discussion. Being silent when you don't know the facts reflects your commitment to mindful communication. Core principle in Buddhism. It shows that you prioritize truth and understanding over the need to appear knowledgeable. This type of silence is a strength, not a weakness. And it allows you to grow in wisdom while maintaining respect for yourself and others. It's a reminder that sometimes the wisest words are the ones left unsaid as they make room for deeper understanding and meaningful dialogue. 5. When it's time to listen to yourself. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the constant noise around us, the opinions of others, pressures of society, endless stream of information from social media, and daily responsibilities. All of these external influences can drown out the most important voice of all, your own. Buddhism emphasizes the importance of tuning out the external world from time to time and turning inward. There are moments in life when silence is necessary, not for others, but for yourself. These are the moments when it's time to pause and listen deeply. Inner voice. When we're always surrounded by distractions, we often lose touch with our true feelings, desires, and needs. We might find ourselves making decisions based on what others expect from us, rather than what truly aligns with who we are. That's why it's so important to make space for silence and reflection in our lives. Taking the time to listen to yourself allows you to reconnect with your inner wisdom, your values, and your purpose. In Buddhism, this kind of silence is cultivated, practices like mindfulness and meditation. These practices encourage you to turn your attention inward, observe your thoughts without judgment, and understand the deeper layers of your mind and heart. In the stillness of silence, you gain clarity about what truly matters to you. You begin to recognize the difference between what is influenced by outside noise and what comes from your own truth. This process of self-listening is essential for living an authentic, meaningful life. It's also during moments of silence that you can process your emotions more effectively. When life becomes overwhelming and emotions like stress, anxiety, or sadness build up, we often try to distract ourselves by staying busy or seeking validation from others. But in doing so, we avoid the real issue and never give ourselves the chance to fully understand what we're feeling. Silence provides a safe space to sit with your emotions, Explore them deeply without distractions and find healing from within. By listening to yourself, you honor your emotional well-being, which leads to greater self-awareness and personal growth. When you take the time to listen to yourself, you become more intuitive and aligned with your true path. Often, we already know what the right decision is or what changes we need to make. 
The constant noise of life clouds that knowledge. In the silence, your inner voice can guide you more clearly. You become more attuned to your gut feelings and instincts, which are incredibly valuable in making decisions that are best for you. Instead of constantly seeking advice or approval from others, you learn to trust your own judgment and wisdom. Silence is not just about turning off external distractions. It's also about quieting the mental chatter inside your own mind. We often carry around a stream of worries, doubts, and self-criticism that can be just as noisy as the outside world. Listening to yourself means creating silence within, allowing your mind to rest from overthinking and judgment. This inner quiet helps you become more centered and peaceful, creating a space for insight, creativity, and new perspectives to emerge. Learning to listen to yourself is an act of self-respect and self-love. It's about valuing your own thoughts, emotions, and needs enough to give them the time and attention they deserve. Many of us spend so much time trying to meet the needs of others that we neglect our own inner voice. But when you take the time to be silent and tune into yourself, you are practicing one of the highest forms of self-care. You're acknowledging that your well-being matters and that your inner guidance is worth following. In Buddhism, silence is seen as a way to cultivate wisdom, and that wisdom often comes from within. By creating space for silence in your life, you not only gain clarity and understanding, but also develop a deeper connection to your true self. Practice of listening to yourself isn't something that happens overnight. It's a lifelong journey of mindfulness, reflection, and self-discovery. But the more you embrace silence and turn inward, the more aligned and fulfilled you'll become on your path to inner peace and happiness. 6. When your ego wants to win One of the greatest challenges we face in life is managing our ego. The ego is that part of us that constantly seeks validation, craves recognition, and wants to be right at all costs. It's the voice inside that tells us we need to win, whether in arguments, competitions, or even social interactions. While the ego can sometimes drive us to succeed, it often leads us down a path of conflict, unnecessary tension, and even suffer. Buddhism teaches that the ego, when left unchecked, is often the root of unhappiness. In moments when your ego pushes you to win, silence becomes a powerful tool for transcending this inner struggle. We've all been in situations where our pride gets the better of us, perhaps during a heated argument where we feel the need to have the last word, or in a discussion where we want to prove our intelligence or superiority. In these moments, the ego pushes us to defend ourselves, make our point, or outshine others. But this need to win often conflicts with our deeper values and doesn't lead to Winning for the sake of the ego often results in damaged relationships, lingering resentment, and emotional exhaustion. The temporary satisfaction of winning an argument pales in comparison to the long-term damage it can do to your peace of mind, connections with others. In Buddhism, the practice of humility and letting go of the ego is essential for inner peace. When you choose silence in moments where your ego is driving you to speak, you are practicing detachment from the need to be right. This doesn't mean you're conceding or losing. It means you're prioritizing harmony and wisdom over the fleeting satisfaction of proving a point. Silence in these moments is an act of strength, not weakness. It shows that you are capable of stepping back, reflecting, and allowing the situation to unfold without feeling the need to control. By letting go of the desire to dominate, to create space for understanding, compromise, and true connection with others. Moreover, the ego thrives on external validation, craves approval from others, recognition for accomplishments, and acknowledgement of its superiority. But true self-worth doesn't come from external sources. It comes from within. When you remain silent in situations where your ego wants to win, you remind yourself that your value is not determined by others' opinions or the outcome of debates. Your worth is grounded in who you are, 
not in external validation. Silence allows you to detach from the need for approval, cultivating a deeper sense of self-assurance that doesn't rely on outside praise or acknowledgement. Another crucial concept in Buddhist teachings is the idea of impermanence. Everything in life is constantly changing, and clinging to the need to win or be right is ultimately futile, because the victory you achieve today will soon fade. The satisfaction of proving someone wrong is short-lived, while the conflict it creates may linger. By choosing silence, you embrace the impermanent nature of these situations and recognize that feeding the ego brings no lasting benefit. Instead, you shift your focus to the bigger picture. Peace, balance, and inner tranquility. Silence also has the power to diffuse tension and de-escalate conflict. When you refuse to engage in an argument driven by ego, you take away the fuel that keeps the disagreement going. This is especially true in heated situations where emotions are running high and both parties feel the need to assert dominance. By remaining silent, you're not only protecting your peace, but also allowing the other person to calm down. This opens the door for a more thoughtful and productive conversation later on, where mutual understanding can be reached without the interference of ego-driven emotion. Silence in these moments also allows you to practice mindfulness and self-awareness. When your ego wants to win, it often acts out of habit or conditioning rather than conscious thought. Silence gives you the opportunity to step back and observe your reaction. Why do you feel the need to win? What are you trying to prove and to whom? These moments of reflection can reveal deeper insecurities or fears that are driving your behavior. Once you become aware of these motivations, you can work on addressing them in a healthier way rather than letting the ego control your actions. By choosing silence when your ego wants to win, you also set an example for others. In a world where people are quick to argue, defend, and assert their opinions, calm, composed silence stands out. It shows that you don't need to dominate to be strong, and you don't need to win to be respected. This silent confidence can inspire others to reconsider their own actions and approach conflicts with more mindfulness and humility. In this way, your silence has a ripple effect, fostering peace not just within yourself, but also in your interactions with others. By embracing silence in moments when your ego is most active, you cultivate a deeper sense of inner stability and maturity. It allows you to rise above petty conflicts and focus on the values that truly matter. Kindness, compassion, understanding. The more you practice this, the more you develop emotional resilience, where external situations no longer shake your sense of self-worth. This kind of inner strength not only benefits you, but also creates a ripple effect on those around you, encouraging more harmonious interaction. Practicing silence in these situations can lead to long-term personal growth. Every time you choose silence over an ego-driven reaction, you train your mind, be more patient and reflective. Over time, you'll find that these moments become easier to handle and your ego's grip on you lessens. This continuous development of self-control is at the heart of Buddhist teachings and can lead to a more peaceful, filled life. Silence in moments when your ego wants to win is a profound act of self-mastery. It allows you to break free from the cycles of conflict, competition, and insecurity. It offers you the space to cultivate deeper connections with others, based on mutual respect and understanding, rather than the need to dominate. Through silence, you move closer to the wisdom that Buddhism teaches, that true victory is not in winning arguments, but in mastering yourself. This wisdom guides you to a more peaceful, balanced, and fulfilling life, free from the endless struggles of the ego. To be valued, you don't always need to speak. In these six situations, silence is more powerful than words. By choosing to remain silent, you show wisdom, strength, and respect for yourself and others. Thank you for watching. And if you found value in this message, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and share this video.